Hey guys, and welcome to the Working Money Channel. So we got the crypto market here, the market capitalization, uh, just over 180 billion. Crypto's a little flat right now. Um, you know, whether they're up a little or down a little, it's not a lot of movement. Binance Coin is really uh, one of the only coins that uh, has seen significant movement over the last several days, uh, several weeks. And I'm sure you guys have heard about this. Uh, Vitalik Buterin reveals he tried to be an intern at Ripple back in the day. Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin has revealed uh, that he has tried to be an intern at Ripple before launching his own cryptocurrency project. Because of visa restrictions, Vitalik was unable to do an internship at the company behind the XRP token. Very interesting. You know, there are a lot of talented people in the world. And um, if for, for those of you who are not American, I'm sure you do realize this. Uh, for those of you who are American, maybe you do know this or you don't know this. It is very, very difficult for somebody who is not American to work in America. I know this uh, from film industry friends of mine, uh, TV industry friends who want to move to Hollywood. Uh, but it's really, really difficult uh, if uh, all you have is Canadian citizenship some of them have dual citizenship and they still don't move to LA and I'm thinking to myself why haven't you done that yet to each their own though of course everybody's got their own reasons nevertheless it's uh it's interesting that Vitalik the only reason he didn't become a Ripple intern was because of the visa thing and to think of how XRP could have developed had he been on the team earlier had he been on the team would it have changed it could we have seen some different developments would we have seen xrp develop it uh, in a different way or conversely would he have been at ripple headquarters and maybe since we know that vitalik is a bit of a renegade maybe uh you know poach some of the ripple employees early on and started ethereum with some ripple employees you know the possibilities are endless and it's just kind of interesting to see that something as simple as a visa prevented vitalik buterin from working at Ripple uh, way back in 2013. Huobi US announces new XRP trading pairs as BTC, Ethereum, EOS, BCH, XRP derivatives market breaks 100 billion in trading volume. So uh, just more XRP trading pair, San Francisco based arm of the leading cryptocurrency exchange. Huobi Global has added three XRP trading pairs to its platform, allowing US traders to trade XRP against the US dollar tether and bitcoin so um more avenues to trade xrp which is always good you know we're, we're always hearing of these um, more trading pairs on these exchanges and that just uh, goes to show you that more volume will be trading through xrp once the crypto market starts uh getting a bit of leverage and once it starts uh, once people decide that they're going to start trading cryptocurrencies like they were back in late 2017 and so XRP underscore veteran uh, sent this uh, Ripple's cross-border offerings gain adoption and it's from uh, payments.com. So first a shout out to XRP underscore veteran. Thanks so much, my man, for sending this over. Um, and it's ultimately stating that amid cross-border payment efforts, Ripple's gained some traction in recent days as reported on sites such as Bitcoin Exchange Guide. Siam Commercial Bank is boosting its use of Ripple's offerings, including XCurrent. And I know for a lot of you guys thinking XCurrent, not a huge piece of news because it does uh, involve XRP. However, it is a step in the right direction. You know, once Ripple has gotten their products in their clients' hands, X Current namely, you know, the first product that they came out with, uh, and I did a video on this way back when, this is kind of like the crack addiction. You know, you get something that works really, really well, and so you offer your clients a little bit more to keep their fix up, to keep them interested, to keep them coming back to you. And so I feel like X Current for Ripple was like that gateway product in that they could give their clients X current and then once cryptocurrency adoption occurs once the regulations come to pass globally bam ripple will slam them with X rapid and we'll start to see flow through XRP so ripple adoption in Asia very very important uh, because as we know Asia the Asian market is a huge market for remittances uh, this here from hitch XRP that's at hitch XRP and this video clip is a little older uh, it's from uh, 2017 late 2017 I believe it's from September 2017 Federal Reserve Governor Jerome H. Powell and Federal Reserve Bank of Kansas City President Esther George on private sector faster payment solutions and interoperability. And so I just wanted to remind you guys about this uh, for any of you guys having doubt, you know, for any of you guys looking at these numbers or uh, not really this, but looking at this, this is XRP on the daily and seeing, you know, uh, XRP is not flourishing as much as let's say BNB right or even if you look at uh, bitcoin right we're starting to see uh bitcoin rise but why is xrp so stagnant you're looking at this and you're getting worried and so guys 
I have to keep reminding you guys every so often that um, if you look at the long game, there is nothing to be worried about. Let me play you this clip here. Bank Our next question comes from a non-bank provider. Governor Powell, the Faster Payments Task Force assessed various faster payment solution proposals that outlined approaches to new faster payment systems in the United States. Does the Federal Reserve believe there has been significant market activity toward deploying faster payment solutions? Thank you, Dave. And, and yes, the answer to that is absolutely yes. Uh, as President George indicated, we're seeing significant progress, including in the development of, of uh, payment solutions, uh, faster payment solutions by private sector parties. Um, you know, we worked closely with the uh, private sector on the task forces, and uh, this was an intended result, and we're happy to see it beginning to emerge. And what we're seeing is private sector parties are designing, and in some cases implementing, uh, the beginning stages of faster payments initiatives. So we're excited about that, and we're, we're hoping to see, you know, more and more momentum on that as we go forward. Okay, so this is the Faster Payments Task Force, and they are government, right? This is government, and they're talking about private sector entities developing solutions to help make faster payments uh, part of our world. And guys, this is back in 2017, and so it sounds like they are talking about Ripple. Doesn't it sound like that to you? Companies coming up with solutions. Uh, did a little bit of research here, and this is just from the U.S.'s uh, Path to Faster Payments, and it's a Faster Payments Task Force report from July 2017. But guys, if you go down here, uh, page 10, it gives you some, so table one, faster payment solution proposals. So here are some of the proposals from some of the companies and you go down here to page 11 and of course Ripple is outlined here, uh, down here giving a description, the scope and their approach, along with other companies, right? So uh, it, it's not set in stone, but don't forget this is back from 2017, uh, same when this video was originally, when this interview was originally recorded, 2017. But guys, we got to remember in 2018, June 18, 2018 whose executive was elected to feds faster payments task force ripples executive earlier this year the u.s fed launched the faster payments task force to join hands with payment processors to improve the u.s payment system in accordance with the report titled strategies for improving the u.s payment system and so ryan zagone head of research on ripples business development team is among the board spearheading this initiative so it seems like these guys have come a long way and it seems like they would have faith that Ripple's solutions were amongst the top, if not the chosen leader, if they were going to have one of their executives uh, be on the Faster Payments Task Force. So just some things to put in perspective, guys, especially when you're seeing this kind of price movement for XRP. It's a sound investment for a long hodl, and hopefully we'll see some movement in the cryptocurrency market as a whole to profit on some gains in the meantime. That's just my opinion, but I want to hear what you guys think. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Like the video if you like the content I'm providing. I always love hearing your comments. See you in the next one, guys.